Hi everyone, thanks for stopping in today. I have a fun box to unbox with you, the Lorella box. Hopefully this is a good one. Last month was not good for me with this um, box. This is $29.99 a month. I think we do pay tax and shipping is free in the US. As I just opened this, it five to seven full-size beauty products. They are all Lorella brand products. Makeup brushes, mirrors, you know, the dreaded lashes and lash supplies. And you always get a palette. So this is a little sneak peek into the box here. Let's keep that sideways. So evidently this is the palette. The subscription box right here with some prices. I have my phone here. I'm waiting for an important call. So if I get it, I will pause and come back, but you won't know. And then I'll just give you a quick peek once I open it right here. It looks like they have a brush set. Nice. Hmm. Let's start here. I love these, but I love sharing these also. This is a teardrop sponge with um, the soap at the bottom, as you can see right here. So the beauty sponge is worth $10. Okay, their sponges are really nice. They really are. And the soap is phenomenal. So <coughs> I might share that. I might keep it. What do we have here? Melt Away Cleansing Balm. $12. Sealed. So let's open her up and see. I like a good cleansing balm. Oops. I just read the box. Let's see if we can get into this easily. Okay. Not so easy. Well, that looks like, um, oh God, who makes them? Bum Bum Cream? Lorella, like that's this type of container. Not bad. And has a little scoop on the top and um, top. No scent, and it is a bomb. I like that they included a little scoop. I hate putting my hands and stuff like that, so that will come in handy. That's nice. I can feel some oil or something on my hands. Okay, let me close this out and I'll just wait. So that's $12, not bad. Um, here we have Fantasy Glitter Eyeliner right here in a sealed box. This might be a gold just from the lid. So let's just open this up. I might share it if it's gold because I won't, I don't think I'll use it. If I can open it, it would be a miracle without getting hurt. I don't know if I can get this. Okay. I'm working on it, people. I don't want to destroy the box in case I'm not going to keep it. Okay, kind of. Their um, glitter pens are nice because they're not like over glitter, overly glittered, I should say. So this is what the packaging looks like. And that is a gold. You know, I might keep that, honestly. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. I'm going to go thicker. And it's right there on my hand. That's really pretty and it's not too much. So I will be able to use that. Okay, happy for that. And it's not like chunky glitter. It's like more like just like a little shimmer in there. And it does not, like I have trouble with my right eye um, makeup getting in my eye. Like my eye is very teary today. But allergies are high. Pollen is high here. Uh, yesterday morning, I woke up. My windows were open. And I woke up and immediately, eyes tearing, nose running, and sneeze. I swore I sneezed 50 times. I was, And that was before I even got out of bed. I was like, oh, here we go. And pretty much most of the morning was like that. It was a little bit of a pain in the butt. But, you know, it is what it is. So the glitter eyeliner, $10.00. Then we have an ultra gloss, and this says best life. I don't know if that's an indicator of a shade, but we'll open her. Everything is always sealed with Lorella, which I appreciate, but sometimes can be a hassle. But I'd rather open it myself than not. So let's see what you look like. So the gloss is ten dollars mm, yeah i won't keep that that's too much for me i don't think i would ever wear that honestly 
on my lips today I wanted to share with you is the um, I got this in the Ipsy Glam Bag from Pear Nova right here I'll just give you a little swatch again here a beautiful color it's like a mauvey pink and it's a matte and then I just put this on top if I can reach it I don't know if I can reach I'm going to move my carts around this is from Tarte and this is Rose and this is just a lip balm right here I'll put that next to it it's a beautiful lip balm I wear it alone just adds that little bit of color and a little bit of sheen to it to make this feel a little bit more comfortable so I have that on today so if you get the pan over oh, that thing is heavy I can't close it lip it's actually very nice so their lip gloss is I just told you ten dollars so let's do this the brush set um where are you moon light brush set $25 their brush sets are phenomenal plus the cases that come with it are just as nice this is a beautiful case it really is nice beautiful pole with Lorella on it and let's take I'm going to take the brushes out and show you the case so you can put all your brushes in the pouches and then use that for something else or put other brushes and this snaps out so this is always uh, appreciated now let's see the brushes let's get them out of the plastic which i will not leave them in the plastic because that usually usually smell oh these look so pretty i really don't need more brushes but i might have to keep these these are beautiful color they're all sticking to the paper and let's let's take that once again my poor eye just won't ease up today so this is the one brush look at the coloring I'll take this off I think I might keep these look at the coloring and this is like a feels nice and soft and like matte like almost rubbery look at that that's a beautiful brush right there so let me put the shield back up on it just to hold the brush don't need to put it back in there so you have that I will put them back maybe if I can so it looks like we have one and this looks like a powder brush I'm not going to take this off very nice a powder brush whoops so that's that we have this which is probably a highlighter I probably should just take these off to show you yeah so that's a pretty highlighter powder brush where are you oh, my goodness when you don't want things to hit the floor they hit the floor when you're okay with it it doesn't happen so this is a nice little like packer you could use that for concealer um so that's those and then there are two more that are probably shadow brushes let's get them out of the papers if i can will you come out yes and then these two are oops I almost lost the box with the paladin and then these are like a blender and another you could use that for lining um putting shadow on so those two that one that one that which one didn't i show you let me do this one and i will show you this one so that's a beautiful powder brush look at that look how fluffy beautiful soft hairs beautiful brush i guess i'll take this one back out so they're you know nice little set so we have one two three like i would say more like powder you could use that for contour blush bronzer and like highlighter there and then we have this nice little brush and then the two face so one two three four five six brushes beautiful love those happy happy so that's 25 dollars right and then the palette is new fresh squeeze eyeshadow palette 21 dollars you're here i'm gonna just try to get that box off because it's gonna fall came in bubble and this is what this looks like interesting shape let's see if i can just slit this paper and pull it off how did that work trying to slip this so i can start pulling it so 
I mean, we got a little sneak peek in the in the beginning, but that looks interesting. Oh, I cannot get this paper off today. Okay, it's still not working. Oh, now I got it. Let's put you in the box. So this is the palette unwrapped. How do you slide out the back? I slide out the side. Once again, slide up. Oh, pretty. Oh, nice mirror. Nice mirror. Protective shield. I could see it. Is it like stuck on there? No. Nice big protective shield. And I will use this to try to block the mirror. This is a beautiful palette. Mm. Let me show it to you. It's a little bulky, but I think you could still get away with it. Look at that. That is beautiful. A lot of good wearable shades here. Hmm. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, maybe six or seven that I could see right off the top that I would use. So I wouldn't have to think about that. I have a few to think about before I make any final decisions. Beautiful palette. Now, okay, this box is more my speed. I think when you start theming boxes towards a specific group or a specific event, you kind of lose people. Like, I think the last month's box was more like Coachella themed, which I understand because Coachella was happening, but am I going to be interested in that? No. Well, somebody younger, maybe somebody middle-aged. Yeah. Somebody older than me, probably not. So that's where they run the risk. It's still always a nice box, just not for me personally. So this is the May subscription box from Lurella. One little final look at the palette there. The brush set made it. I love the cleansing balm. The glitter liner is nice. It really is nice. This is always appreciated. I don't, and you know, the lip gloss, I probably, you know, I don't think I would use that, honestly. So I might share that. But I could potentially keep everything in here and be very happy with this box. Let me know your thoughts. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye for now.